and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me Victoria. It is a pleasure to have you here. If this is your first time on my channel, hi, hello, welcome, it's so nice to have you. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for keep coming back to watch my video. So today's video is another sea monkey video. I have my tea in the deep blue sea and I'm ready to talk all about sea monkeys. So today's video is alternate sea monkey foods. So the green packet number three that you get with all of your sea monkey kits is absolutely perfect to feed them. You don't need to worry thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to feed them something else. No, that is absolutely fine. I'm just talking through a few options that you can use if you run out and can't order any more or want to try something different and experiment a little bit. So this is all about alternative sea monkey food. So I will cover the two additional packets you can get from Transcience, the original sea monkey company and also other alternatives, including homegrown phytoplankton, which is an absolute favourite of mine for feeding sea monkeys. So I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. So today I'm going to be talking all about sea monkey food. So these are the three sea monkey foods you can get from the official sea monkey website. So the sea monkey growth food is what you get in all of the sea monkey kits. So this is packet number three, the sea monkey growth food that contains salt and organic ground vegetable powder. So this is really great. This is exactly perfect. This is what you need to feed your sea monkey. So you should be feeding them with the small end of the feeding spoon every seven days no more than this or this will be overfeeding them so make sure the tank water is clear when you go to feed them so the other foods you can get are red magic and banana treat which are alternative sea monkey foods so you don't need to feed them but they are just optional and you can use them instead of the food or on a alternating rotor basis so what i do i feed the sea monkey growth food one week the red magic vitamins one week and the banana treats on the third week so these two are USA exclusives, however if you have any friends that live in America you can get them to buy them and ship them over to you and that is what I did so I could get my hands on these. Although I have found a supplier for these that I can get hold of them in the UK so if you want to get hold of some let me know down in the comments and I will hook you up. Wow that sounded really cringy. So yeah let me know if you want to get hold of sea monkey vitamins. So they are packed full of vitamins to help your sea monkeys. This is instead of the food, so you alternate it. So one week the food, one week the vitamins. So these can also, they are called red magic because the vitamins are red and they can turn your sea monkeys a reddish pink colour, which is really, really awesome. So yeah, that is the sea monkeys red magic vitamins. You can also see feed them banana treat, which is a sea monkey dessert because duh, monkeys love bananas. Um, so yeah, this is another great alternative food that you can feed your sea monkeys. So they are the three sea monkey foods that are made by Transcience, which is the official sea monkey company, and I will link them down in the description for you. So some other alternative food you can feed your brine shrimp or sea monkeys is from the brand Hobby. So you can feed them Liquazel and Microzel as you can see here. So Liquazel is ideal for baby brine shrimp because they are filter feeders. So this is a liquid. It is a very green liquid. If I can open it, you can see it is a very green liquid. Um, it is in a clear plastic container that I usually keep in the fridge to keep it fresh. So this is one thing you can feed your babies and for adults they have the Microzel which is a powdered version of the Liquazel which is I believe a spirulina mix. So you can also feed them spirulina. This is spirulina powder which is an algae powder. You can get it at health food shops and at fish places and online. So again you should only be feeding the small end of the feeding spoon. And that is, again, every seven days any more you could be overfeeding them. So this is a lovely green powder of spirulina here. You can also feed them reef phytoplankton, which is a unique blend of green and brown phytoplankton, which is a green liquid packed full of algae that is great for your sea monkeys. You can see it in there. It is fairly clear liquid although it's got a slight brownish green tinge to it and that is packed full of algae and that is a great food for sea monkey nutrients and i apologize for the stickers but you can also feed them marine snow which is specially formulated marine plankton 
and it's designed for filter feeders especially i did apologize for all of the stickers this is kept in my fridge and for some reason some people started thinking it was milk so i had to clearly label it biohazard so it didn't end up in my tea because it smells absolutely disgusting but it's what's good for the shrimpies so yeah that is an alternative food for brine shrimp Another alternative food is what I grow at home, which is Danochloropsis oculata, which is a type of marine phytoplankton. And this is kept in my fridge. You can keep it for up to six weeks in the fridge. And it is absolutely great as a source of nutrition for your brine shrimp. And this is what I feed my big tanks on. So that was my video all about alternative sea monkey food. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you have, please remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Any comments, any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Victoria with Tea in the Deep Blue Sea. Cheers.